James Clevery, Secretary of State for the Home Department, ladies and gentlemen. Let me begin by welcoming you and your delegation to Rwanda. It is indeed a pleasure to have you here as Rwanda and the UK continue to work together on our migration and economic development partnership. This partnership reflects Rwanda's commitment to protecting vulnerable people and our country's track record in welcoming and hosting refugees and migrants from around the world. Rwanda and the UK understand that there is a critical need to find innovative ways to address the suffering of migrants making dangerous, desperate journeys under the exploitation of criminal human smugglers. There is also a need to tackle the underlying causes driving people from their homelands. In other words, the boats will not be completely stopped unless we reverse the lack of opportunity and insecurity in countries around the world. The treaty we are signing, we have just signed today, we reinforce the mutual beneficial framework for cooperation that we have developed. It will re-emphasize in a binding manner already existing commitments that address the concerns raised in the legal process about the protection of asylum seekers. The treaty will also formalize the rule of law partnership with the UK. Together, we will build the capacity of our asylum system as a safe and human migration process. This partnership will also strengthen our asylum process system by exchanging best practices and providing capacity building and expertise in the area of migration. I want to reaffirm that the people relocated to Rwanda will be welcomed and that they will be provided both the safety and support they need to build new lives. Rwanda looks forward to further strengthening the cooperation with the United Kingdom and to implementing this treaty. Dear Home Secretary, dear James, I welcome you to deliver your remarks before we take a few questions from the media. Uh, Foreign Minister um, Vincent, thank you for welcoming me and my delegation here to Rwanda. Uh, you and I have had the opportunity to work in the past in my former capacity as the UK's uh, Foreign Secretary and in all our dealings, uh, I have always found both you personally uh, and your government to be uh, professional, thoughtful, and serious partners on the world stage. And I think this is exemplified by the Migration and Economic Development Partnership that we have uh, developed over recent months and which we now strengthen and enhance through this uh, treaty. As you have said, Rwanda has now established a strong reputation for the humane and uh, professional administration of uh, refugees and uh, migrants. This is something uh, understood by the UK and um, the multilateral uh, community. The treaty that we signed today builds on that joint work. It takes the uh, positive professional attitude that you and your government display and allies it with the uh, work that the UK is doing uh, to ensure that we break the business model of those evil people smuggling uh, gangs. We want to make sure that 
people can live in safety and prosperity. And that is why, in addition to the uh, migration element of this partnership, the economic development part is incredibly important. We recognise that people will uh, understandably move away from uh, conflict and from famine, and therefore it is in all our interests to address these long-term drivers of mass migration. But we should also make it clear that those people coming to the UK should do so through safe and legal routes, and that those who put themselves in the hands of people smuggling gangs will not be able to uh, remain in the UK. But your country has made a clear and unambiguous commitment to the safety of uh, people who come here. Uh, that has been uh, displayed and we have seen that in practice. You've also made a strong commitment to work with the UK and international partners in order to uh, make sure that the robustness of your judicial system uh, is clearly on display. And we are very proud to be a long-standing partner in that uh, endeavour. This bilateral relationship today, this meeting today, uh, is of course marking a, a particularly important part of our bilateral relationship. But I would also like to take this uh, opportunity to expand upon the, uh, the work that we are doing together in terms of uh, your tourism, in terms of your agricultural sector, and in terms of your country's uh, wider economic development. Rwanda has shown itself to be a, a strong and important partner to the UK. I'm very proud that this treaty today amplifies that a relationship. And I'm very much looking forward to continue working with you in my new role as Home Secretary. Uh, the UK has been working with uh, Rwanda not just as a Commonwealth partner uh, on a range of issues which I alluded to in my opening remarks, but specifically on the, um, uh, on the, on the Migrant and Economic Development uh, Partnership, Migration and Economic Development Partnership. Throughout the time that we've been working with the Rwandan government, they have shown an energy and a professionalism and uh, a desire to, um, uh, to work in a collaborative partnership way uh, with, the, uh, with the UK. Um, and, and I've also, in my previous role as Foreign Secretary, seen that displayed across a number of uh, other bilateral uh, issues uh, as well. Of course, we want to uh, see this, uh, this part of our wider migration plan up and running as quickly as uh, possible. We feel very strongly that this treaty addresses all the issues raised by their lordships in the uh, Supreme uh, Court. And we have worked very closely with our Rwandan partners to ensure that uh, it, uh, it does so. Uh, I cannot see any uh, credible reason uh, why Rwanda's track record um, as, a, as a partner, including as a partner for the ECHR, long-term partner for the ECHR, uh, bearing in mind the ECHR, um, uh, I think, sent uh, 165 uh, refugees to Rwanda the day following the Supreme Court judgment, so they clearly regard Rwanda as a, a credible long-term partner, just as we do. So I really hope that we can now move quickly. We've addressed the, um, uh, the issues that were raised uh, by their lordships in this treaty, and that will be reflected in domestic legislation soon, because we are absolutely committed to breaking the business model of these people smuggling gangs, to create a, self and uh, a safe and welcoming environment with our friends and partners here in Rwanda, but also making sure that mass migration is, is well managed into the future. Uh, let me say that uh, Rwanda's commitment is driven by our belief in what is right, uh, rather than seeking external validation or praise. And Rwanda is uh, proud to be part of a solution to a global crisis that is uh, the migration crisis. And uh, it is crucial to recognize that uh, uh, the UK Supreme Court's reliance on our speculative concerns rooted in UNHCR criticisms contradicted the UNHCR's 
on previous expressions of expression of appreciation for Rwanda's inclusive refugee policies. So it begs the following question. Uh, how did we go from model to dangerous country in just four short years? And how much of this perception is linked to internal UK politics? This being said, I would say that there is always a room for improvement to any system designed by human beings, Rwandan or British. So this is the reason why we worked on this uh, treaty and we accepted to partner just to make sure we can improve our asylum system and that we have a fair and transparent system in place for those claimants to be able to, to appeal or just to have uh, a judgment which is uh, fair and transparent. Let me make it uh, clear. The Rwandan government has not asked for and we have not provided any funding linked to the signing of this treaty. Uh, the financial arrangement which inevitably comes as part of uh, an international agreement reflects the costs that may be imposed uh, on Rwanda through the changes that um, uh, this partnership has created in their, uh, in their systems, in their legal systems and their, inst in their institutions. But this treaty, uh, as I say, no money was asked for by the Rwandans for this treaty, no money was provided to the Rwandans for this treaty. Dealing with migration is important and it is not a cost-free option. But we regard it as the right thing to do, both to protect our borders, to dissuade people from putting themselves in the hands of people smugglers and making these dangerous journeys often in unseaworthy vessels, whether it be across the Mediterranean or across the Channel. Rwanda is helping the UK in our fight against illegal migration and people smuggling. They are doing so uh, professionally, thoughtfully, and as a, uh, as a partner genuinely willing to work with us on, as uh, Vincent has said, as the Foreign Minister has said, on what is increasingly a global challenge. Rwanda is uh, very much committed to this migration and economic development partnership. And this is the reason why we worked with uh, our colleagues from the UK to address the concerns of the, the UK Supreme Court while we thought they were unfounded or and unfair, but we worked together just to address those concerns. So we don't have a plan to withdraw from this collaboration. We have a plan to implement uh, this partnership and we remain open to just monitor the implementation and be able to adjust uh, one or the other element which will, not be, which will not need to be adjusted. So we are committed to the partnership and we want to have a plan to, to withdraw from this collaboration. We continued uh, with this uh, partnership because we believe that uh, we are doing the right things to contribute to, to a solution to this global migration crisis. You mentioned it, we have uh, refugees in this country uh, from all over the world, from uh, Sudan, from uh, Afghanistan, and from the region. And we believe that uh, we are doing the right things in receiving uh, these uh, refugees. The fact is uh, there are, that there are situations around the world which will continue to, to, pro to produce refugees. And it is not helpful for all of us to criticize a country like Rwanda which is contributing to a solution while we are not even addressing the root causes. I mean all of us are not even addressing the root causes which produce those refugees. I said it, we were unfairly treated by international organizations, by the media, by courts, but we believe that we are doing the right things and those who are criticizing us should bring up, uh, should bring up alternative to the solution we are proposing. So let's just move forward and implement what we have agreed to, to, to do and uh, just wait for those who are, who are criticizing us to see what 
alternative system they were going to, to propose to this, uh, this problem. Criticizing is uh, one thing, but providing a solution is uh, another one. So we are working on the on providing solution, and we, I think we will survive those criticisms from uh, these various uh, organizations and uh, actors. Thank you. I have a, a huge amount of admiration for the, for the fortitude of the Rwandan government who, as you say, have um, been the recipients of criticism, I, I think completely out of uh, keeping with the effort that the government has been making uh, on behalf of uh, the UNHCR uh, and other organizations uh, and those refugees uh, themselves. There is a desire, as you have heard, to keep improving those processes and work closely with international partners like the UK and others in order to continue that uh, evolution and improvement of processes, just as all governments should seek to do. Um, the UK and Rwanda are working on this because it is important, not because it is necessarily easy or that it buys you uh, cheap or, or quick popularity. We do this despite the fact that it is difficult and sensitive. Because if we don't address these issues, the people that will ultimately be the winners are the people smugglers. They are the slave traders. They are the criminal gangs and they are the extremist voices who always take advantage of human difficulties and hardship. Rwanda is stepping forward to be a thoughtful and careful partner in solving these incredibly difficult international issues. I think that they deserve uh, support in doing that. Uh, and I have been uncomfortable with the, uh, the tone and the volume of some of the criticism directed at Rwanda for having the courage to step forward and to try and be part of the solution rather than part of the problem. Mm -hmm.